What's going on, Chosen Ones? This is Chosen the Game back uh, again with another video for you guys. Guys, I have been working like a crazy man today. I have another day of hard work to do, but guys, the videos must go on. What we're going to be doing in this video, guys, we're going to be helping a subscriber. I'm going to post his comment and his question right here. Um, we're going to be helping this guy create his team. We're going to be helping him create his all tigers team. I know that this guy just, it seemed as if he's a pretty new subscriber, but he had a fantastic idea and I wanted to roll with it. Lately, I've been not able to create the three game series and, you know, all these other uh, games that um, I usually would make because of the time constraints. So I'm hoping that I can, you know, change it up a little bit, but still produce some great content for you guys. So without further ado, guys, if you guys are new here, definitely click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell to the right so you are always notified of my next video. And guys, let's jump right into the video. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off with Curtis Grandison in center field. I mean, I'm not sure about you guys, but being a Yankee fan, I know, boo, whatever. I love the Yankees. But being a Yankee fan, having to go up against Curtis Grandison a lot back in the day, this guy had probably one of the best averages against the Yankees. He's always destroying the Yankees. So I had to definitely put him in center field for my boy. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be looking for a second baseman. I'm going to start off with the war card because I felt like war cards definitely give you a great bang for the buck. And look what pops up, Ian Kensler. Um, I feel like Ian Kensler is a great player to put in the second base spot, even though this is a older card, 2014. Um, him being on Texas, he actually excelled in Texas. Uh, but now not so much. I mean, he's in his older years, but still I feel like that was a great a great um, Player to put in the second baseman position Now it's time to look for a shortstop and just for the interest of keeping this video as short as I possibly can I'm gonna focus on 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 um, when it comes to the batters the uh, Outfield infield and the catcher when it comes to the pitchers all the starting pitchers Okay, guys, just a little quick disclaimer for you guys. We're going to be going with Iglesias in the shortstop position. The only reason why I feel that way is because I love his contact. I feel that his contact is really good here. For a budget team, you're also getting really good power. So, I mean, what you can do is really boost this player, get him to exactly where he needs to be. And remember we talked about over at how to get your players to 100 uh, he's an 85, so he can easily get to 100 with just the right boosts. Okay, folks, now it's time to get over to that DH spot. For the DH spot, you know him, you love him. Like, who else but Victor Martinez, right? Like, the man is a beast. <laughs> he has 98 contact for left, 98, 97 for right, 89 power. I mean, you can't go wrong with going with this guy. So... We're going to definitely go with um, Victor Martinez. Okay, so let's just quickly uh, add the players that we've just gotten um, to the lineup. So we're going to take out uh, Mike Trout, Trout here and bring in uh, Curtis Granderson. <clears throat> for the second baseman, obviously, we have to go look for Ian Kinsler. There he is. We're going to add him as well. Now, when comparing your his um, new players with the previous players, you're going to see that the previous players might have a better overall or better stats. That tends to happen when you're using um, different players from the same exact team. That's just what happens sometimes. It is now time to take out Trevor Story, and we're going to add Iglesias to the lineup. Okay, and now it's time for us to add Victor Martinez, but Victor Martinez is already in the lineup, so I just did a quick little... Um, flash by i guess you'd say uh i took out the old victor martinez added the new one so now we have the top four guys excuse me five guys being all detroit tigers okay guys now we're gonna jump right back into creating the rest of the time the team uh we're going to switch out the rest of the players um we're gonna start off with the left field <clears throat> 
Now we do not have anyone in the left field right now, so I'm thinking Maytook might might take it in the left field for me. So um and the only reason why is because I feel like his his contact and his power is pretty decent and he's not too expensive. So 107 million GP. We're gonna go with Maytook. That's not a really bad overall. It's 82 overall. It might not get him to 100, but it's pretty decent. It's still, we still can do something about that. Okay, now we're going to jump over to the catcher. We're going to see who we have here for the catcher. We're going to go straight to war. Oh, yeah, this Avila card is looking really good. Behind the base, he'll have a great arm. He's also going to have great contact and great power. Uh, a decent wow really good eye I mean his speed is a little low but hey why why not go with the, that Avila card so I'm gonna stick with that for the catcher position okay so now it's time to find us a third baseman we already have someone in right field so um, we're going to look through and see if we can find someone I've been looking already for quite some time I've edited the video so you do not have to sit here and watch me look through every single one but yeah after looking through a few cards just looking and looking and looking to see which one was the best one I then stuck with the live SE good drum card it's not the best card but you do have a lot of picks here as well as this is a is a very versatile card you can put him in any position and uh yeah i mean he has decent contact considering if you're not going up against you know an s rank you know team or something but um he will definitely you know fill the build for what you need and now that we have all of that done we're gonna go over to the pitcher side and see if we can get this starting rotation changed so we're gonna go to sp and then we're going to first of all try to see if we can go to war and see if we find anybody uh that price card looks pretty good um we have a verlander card but he already has a verlander card there um so we're not going to be using verlander and we're not going to be using scherzer because he already has the scherzer card as well so our thing is to try to see if we can find um, some great pitchers that are not, you know, pretty much the best pitchers out there right now. Verlander and Scherzer. That Sanchez card is looking really good for 138 mil. Let's see if there's any other cards that we can find. Go to Stars. Boyd, not looking good. Now we already have Verlander. We don't need that. Let me go back to All Stars, see what happens here. Okay, that price card is not looking so bad, but it's, it's very expensive. Okay, the Jackson card, 37 mil. Huh, that Verlander card once again. No, no, no. Let's go back to war. Let's see what happens with war. Let's go all the way down. Sanchez, oh, he has a splitter. He has a splitter. I'm thinking I'm going to add this card only because the price is really low. We only have 204 mil left, and we started off with that 999 mil so we don't want to spend way too much of the assets i mean that he does he doesn't have much gp left so we're looking at probably getting that that sanchez card only because of that splitter and because you can still advance upon that card i mean it's an 83 overall i mean you're gonna get some decent command some decent break um, the stuff is really good. That stuff is really good. So, um, yep, we're going to go with him. And we're going to try to see if we can get another card here. If I if I go with this Fulmer card, maybe he'll be able to use it with the two-seamer, the four-seamer, and the slider. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I like, I like that because he has the two-seamer there, and it's going to work with that, um, with that slider as well. Yeah, and I'm actually looking for another picture. Oh, this Jackson card. I think I might go with that Jackson card only because I do remember him being a beast back on Detroit. So I'm going to go with that card. I mean, I know that he has really good, great command and some decent stuff. So guys, yeah, it's now time to finish the build. As you know, we already bought a few uh, people in the market. Let's pick them up right now. Okay guys, so now that we have all those players from the market, let's switch over our left fielder. Yeah, that's going to be, um, <coughs> excuse me, 
may took and then we're going to switch over the catcher so the team is looking actually pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, really really happy about this build um, we're gonna go over to the starting pitchers now we're not gonna mess with the bench and we're going to of course Verlander is gonna stay right there we're going to get out take out CC Sabathia here I do see that we have Boyd here as a pitcher we're not going to use that pitcher that was a pitcher that we've gotten from um, the drafts so I did a a draft for him I can actually post that up as well Boyd was one of the uh, pitchers that actually got I got from the luxury draft so at the end of this video I'm gonna show you um, what that luxury draft looked like but yeah this is the team guys as you can see those are all the pitchers I've already switched all the, the hitters for you guys so we have uh, Verlander Jackson we have um, Fulmer we have Sanchez the team is coming along and we are just getting started hopefully you liked this video hopefully you liked the fact that I actually took a subscriber and said you know what why not let's go with a whole new team modification let's make an all Detroit's team guys this is only part one of this modification we're going to be trying to bring part two very soon as I've said before I'm very busy with work but I'm gonna try to do what I can this guy's been super supportive this guy's been awesome so I appreciate him dearly and as always guys you know what to do peace out You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, though You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro No, it's a no more A high, hard one That's a grand slam